Hey everyone, welcome back to Kim Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate the Apple Dynamic Island. So here we've got the Dynamic Island animation. We have Google Maps or Apple Maps, and it's popping up and it's going into this shape. It's bouncing up a bit and then it's expanding to the sides. And there you go, a little bounce, and the icon is there. And we have a second version here where we see this music player, the Apple Music Player, and it scales down into the dynamic island here. And then the alarm clock kind of comes out with this liquid motion effect, as you can see here, which works really nice. So we're going to uh, walk through this video today, this tutorial today. And if you support me on Patreon, you get this exclusive video where I um, explain you how to create this one. So this one is a Patreon exclusive. Uh, support me there if you would like to download the project files as well. So um, we're going to quickly run through what's on screen here. We have our uh, background here, let's lock that. We have the iPhone itself, just the phone shape, lock it as well. We have this noisy, um, if I go here, you can see this purple background, which is actually a gradient that I created, which is in there just as a background with a screen that is mm, uh, as a track mat. We have the UI, which is just this stuff. And then we have, uh, that's the basic stuff. And then what we're working with is the dynamic island, which is this uh, simple uh, shape here, this thing. And we have the time, Wi-Fi, battery signal, location, and an icon, and that's this icon. And I'm going to wait two here, I will delete that. So um, the dynamic island, so what happens is, is that this maps layer, it is a composition. If I open this up, you can see we have a screenshot of Apple Maps and it is matted within this screen shape here. And this one uh, actually whoop, uh, scales down. So really basic, if I open this up, you can see that it's, we have some animation going here. We have a scale, position, blur, and mask. And the mask, let's do that quickly. It's only just because this shape needs to kind of disappear behind the dynamic island here. So this mask here is just to uh, make it disappear behind that. So that's a really easy way of this making disappear. And then we have a, a position and a scale keyframes. So it's kind of, if I zoom out here a bit, you can see this whole thing. It is moving up while it is scaling down. So it's moving up from this point to this point, and it is scaling down at the same speed. And then from this point out, we have the Gaussian blur, and the blur is from zero to uh, 212 or to something so it blurs out while it's zooming out so that's the way how Apple does it so I just recreated that and then from here on out we have the position again so it scales down and then it positions up so it goes into the dynamic island and what has happened what's happening is that this shape the maps shape is kind of pushing the dynamic island up as you can see so then it pushes it up and expands it so it has one fluid motion so uh, the time, Wi-Fi, battery, signal, and location, they just have really simple position keyframes and some opacity stuff. So these three here, um, let's zoom in here. You can see that while the dynamic island grows out, these just move out with position, really easy. And they move in a little bit as well because it kind of bounces a little bit. So that move, they're just position. And these two shapes, they um, disappear because the dynamic island gets bigger. So this, they disappear behind it. So they also, uh, swipe to the left and, and right, they go outside, but then also they are um, uh, getting uh, blurred out or they, they just are gone with the opacity, so they just kind of fade out easily. So that's that. So now we're going to go on to the main part, the dynamic island, and you can see this is a shape with this box around it, because this is a shape that I've created um, without rounded corners, it's just a rectangle, but I added the effect rounded corners to it because then I have more control. If I open this up, we just have two, uh, like not, not that much uh, keyframes, and it's just two uh, parameters. So I have the path animation and the radius. So I'll just recreate this shape for you guys here. So um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make the fill just maybe uh, pinky, pink, red, so I can see it better. I'm gonna drag over this and I'm gonna try to trace it perfectly, there you go. I'm going to put the opacity down so I can see it a bit better, like this. So, yeah, these two go down a bit, yeah. And then I want to make it bigger, but first we're going to open this up. Let's call this Island 2. Go to Contents and then Rectangle 1, and it's a Rectangle Path 1. Right-click and go to Convert to Bezier Path. So now if I press G, I can select this, then press V, 
set this as well with holding shift and then I can just move these anchor points and I can't do that while it's a rectangle path. Now it's an editable path. So get these two with a little bit up. So now we have our shape and I'm going to go to add here and then go to round corners. And I'm going to open this up and if I drag the radius up you can see that the corners are getting more rounded off. So something like that looks nice. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to animate the path. So go to content. So open up path one, get a keyframe and for the radius as well. And if I press U to close it up, I only see these two. So now we need this to kind of scale up. So as you can see here, this shape also moves up. So we're going to do that with the uh, path. So select the, um, the top two parts here and we're going to scale them up. But as you can see now, the radius of the corners isn't that nice. Um, it's not it's not fitting with the shape. So let's turn up that radius and to have a nice shape. And also make it, I'm going to drag this in a little bit because it gets a little bit smaller. Like that. Adjust the radius again to make it a bit bigger. Yeah. So now we have this animation of the, the thing going to this shape. So it's kind of... Uh, pushing in a little bit so it gets a little bit uh, less wide and it gets a little higher just a simple animation and then for the path it's gonna take it takes a while but then it kind of goes out of this shape to this shape so just it gets wide and it gets flatter again so if i go to this point in time here go to the path i select these two points here this one and this one and drag this down so it fits and these two to the end here and these as well and then adjust your uh, radius again radius should be kind of like oh it's the wrong one uh, this one so it fits nicely and uh, then for the final um, positioning i'm going to go over here and select it all select these two points and then drag them in a little bit and the radius keeps is uh, keeping the same so that's the basic animation. Let's just turn off this one. And you can see that it's a really ugly animation right now. It's really, there's no easing at all, of course, but this kind of moves up. It moves down and to the sides, and then it goes in a little bit. So we have this little bounce effect like that really easy. Let's just turn off this icon as well though. So that's um, the idea here. And why is this? Because here I've ha I had this radius over here, but here the keyframe is already here. That's because um, in this part, you already want this to have that shape, but it has to, has to do with the uh, easing of it. So let's first ease this out. So if you can, you can see here, this one on the black one, it kind of pops up really fast and then it slows down a little bit here and then it's really slow over here. So let's just first give this all some right click keyframe, uh, keyframe assistant easy ease. So let's make, see how that looks. Oh. Wrong one, this one. That's better already. It's kind of nice, but I want this to go a little bit quicker. The The movement up needs to go, needs to kind of pop up. It's getting pushed up. So if you open up the path and then go to this one, you can kind of drag this one. Oh, I need to zoom in here. I want to select this one and drag this one in. Uh, sorry, <laughs> to the left, so it kind of pops up. So it gets really fast at the beginning, like this. Let's zoom out a bit or again, play it back. There you go. That looks nice. And of course, this takes a lot of playing around with it to, to get the perfect um, uh, animation, of course. It's not that easily uh, done. You need to kind of play around with the, with the graph editor and make this move nicely. So if I go to this one, I want this path kind of to select this, kind of make it go fast, out fast. And nice, all right. And then yeah, cool. All right, and I see that we forgot one more shape here, or one more keyframe, because it also needs to animate out a little bit, of course. So it has this kind of double bounce. So I forgot that, sorry. I'm doing it now, okay, and then getting them out here as well. 
Nice. So it is not the same animation as I've done before, but you know, it they took me a while to kind of get this nice movement going. But as you can see, the, the movement going out here is a lot faster than um, in my new version here. The bounce is kind of the same, but it's just the movement uh, out. You just need to play around with it. Just a lot of tweaking and uh, doing that stuff. So in this case, it looks kind of neat. I think I did something wrong because I made it start quickly, but I wanted to start more slowly actually. And if this one go in because it like that, yeah. Yeah, as you can see there, the like, iron comes in and it pushes it up like poof. Nice. Cool. And you, of course, if you have a plugin like I do, like Flow here, it can create all of these eases for you easily. So you can just select them and then have this and then this one. So it kind of gets the uh, animation going for you even a little bit better. So as you can, if I open this up now, you can see that it's created this nice, these nice flows here for me with this plugin. So it's really easy, so it's way quicker. But you can also do it manually, of course, but I'll have to use plugins to make my life and my work easier and faster. So that's the basic animation for the dynamic island right there. So let's turn this, uh, make this the opacity to 100 and make it black. So now we have the dynamic island animated there. Boom. Nice. With a little bit of bounce. And this icon, it comes in really easy. Position and opacity. So uh, while the dynamic island is... Uh, expanding to the sides, then this icon kind of comes in. Um, where is it? Oh, it needs to be on top here, of course. So because this icon uh, is represented now, is now the Google Maps uh, app in here. So with this one just slides in with a position. As you can see here, it goes from right to left, and then it goes to the right again, to the left again. It kind of follows along with the bounce of this island here. And then it's just a simple opacity from 0 to 100, so it kind of fades in. Really easy to, to do that. So that's the basic idea of the dynamic island animation. Really easy to do, actually. Uh, just a few, a couple of few path animation. And I highly recommend you use the Flow plugin because that will make your life way easier. Um, you want to see the next uh, thing, the iteration here, this one, this animation, go to my Patreon, support me there. You can download other project files as well. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.